Hi guys, DK here from Cororacad. Today I'm going to be taking you through a new tool in the uh, Cororacad uh, suite of tools for kite and wing design. Uh, this is Corora Ghost, which allows you to um, ghost uh, files that have been created in software outside of uh, outside of Cororacad. So this is uh, suitable for both kites and wings, and it's just a, a tool that allows you to convert uh, sort of third-party geometry into uh, into ghost files. So to that end, I have Corora Ghost open here. Uh, when you install the latest update of CororaCAD, you will get uh, a new, there will be a, uh, a new drop-down menu installed with uh, Corora Ghost. Uh, sometimes this may not come through on the initial install. Um, it's just some weirdness with, uh, with Rhino. If you don't have this, uh, uh, this menu item here. You can also open Corora Ghost by just typing ghost into the command line and picking up this uh, this command here. So uh, with this uh, with this open, what I'm going to do is open a um, 3D DXF file. So this is a, an export out of some other software. And just let that come in. So this is the, the kite we're going to ghost here, and I'll just have a look at my layers menu. I am going to just uh, set the active layer to this zero layer, and I'm going to turn off all of the geometry except for the upper or the canopy. So with that uh, open, I can click on this canopy button, and uh, Rhino will ask me to select the canopy and just hit return and we'll just get that blue shade come up which uh, indicates that this has been selected correctly. I'm going to do the same for the leading edge. And the struts. And finally uh, there's this additional geometry which in this case I want to uh, bring in the bridle. For a wing, this would be say your uh, handles and handle point locations. So you had that in the uh, in the ghost file. So it's only a matter of clicking the additional geometry, selecting those items, and uh, they're all now imported or all ready to export as a uh, ghost file. So I can now click on uh, save as ghost file. And this has come up with just a default here. If I actually cancel out of here, and if I save as this uh, file as two four with my my prefix in front of it, if I save this as a three D M file and now hit save ghost file, this will actually uh, pick up that file name with the ghost suffix. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop. And that's done. We could actually just uh, uh, close this uh, this copy of Rhino now, but I'm just going to move over to Corora Kite. And if I now go to my Compare menu, I can click on Open Ghost, and I can find this Ghost file. And there we have it. If I turn off my Show 3D, and I can increase the opacity of that. Uh, that kite. I now have this ghosted in uh, in Cororacad and can use that as a basis to build another kite. All right, guys, uh, there we have it. That is the new ghost tool in the latest version of Cororacad. If you have uh, any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below or email us at cororacad at gmail.com. Thank you very much.